they pick their Lena, which Fnatic is obviously a very good Lena, and it, it, it throws damage to the Chronosphere very well. But if I, if I look at Fnatic's draft... They are bullied a little bit by the Faceless Void, of course that's what they aim to do. Void in what is right now a 1v1, but Net turned it straight back around on him. Level 4 is hit. He's got the damage output of the Furious Blood. Swifty in middle lane turns back onto 3 4 3. The rifling attack damage is there, and the Witch Doctor's gonna be your first blood. Mid one. He cannot chase and keep up with his Swifty Lena because of the one point. Flurry Soul allowing her to sprint herself away. Except for the MVP players that you can't um, actually play in China. Oh, the trap slows down the Lena and mid one. Maybe he can go for a kill here, actually. No, he just throws another one down, but it's Shadow Shaman getting a kill on bottom lane. So, oh, hi, still got that ultimate from Net to try and turn things back around here. And Witch Doctor 3 4 3 throws out the cask. There's the mango out from Blizzard looking for another rocket barrage, but the bash on the net is going to slow him down. It's the time warp from Batticide to retreat out of this. Nobody's going to die, so that's two big ult there. will give them some intel. Chen has placed himself decently, and with his purge creep, Net will jump himself forward, no chance, slow on the response, and 3 3 comes into the side, Net is the monster by the Lagoon Blade for Swifty, but look at his ultimate down, and now DJ on the 3 4 3, Bruno is available, Doctor's gonna go try and scout out the bounty room, but this is trying to spare and the rocket barrage barely getting into the range there, good play by the gyrocopter, realizing that even if he puts Fnatic get the tier 1 and they get the rush, it's the normal trade that when Radiant teams group over the kill, uh, they will play in tar, and the Dyer team, if they've got a rushing car, they go into the rush pit, so... Top, 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 top. Looks like it is the Blink throw, 2200 gold, and Battlestar still saving up money as this tier 2 mid. He even got an Ogre Bruiser with the Blink towards the net, jumping in on the Swifty, and he's demolished the Chrono back off the DJ mid one. This net Ursa, he gets himself through the jack of the back of the back of the wall, still catches three, but the Deathlord's down, they're gonna crush them! Beyond infinity, they've lost three! As Blizzard slowed by the trap, and just towards this Jaro Doctor is absolutely done for. It just needs net to take him out. Jaro Doctor drops himself. Mid one. Through the Ursa in, and Void tried to Chrono everyone else, they could just fight the Ursa, but... Even that approach didn't really work out, the boy couldn't go anywhere, all they did was kill us, they just, they, they're gonna kill us and not. But overextended, but... I, they recognize, like, if, imagine the Ursa and the TA both blink on Selena, she doesn't die straight away, and Void reacts and corners and Void, that's that could be a lot. Yeah, they've got the chest, no chance, or do they? The heal is there, about to slide with a chrono down, then it's already gone, midway, trying to do stuff from the back end, but more with the death of now on to the eye, and Void jumps himself away, but Zed is blocked, he's so low, one more hit out from mid one will clear him up, and they're looking for a little bit more on the back end, but mid one can't really dive in, one BKB carries, and the other one goes a little bit greedier with damage output, but Fnatic know that at this point, they're reasonably far ahead, there's actually the TA jumps in, and pretty much insta-kills that poor little Chen, and now if you're looking for more, this Shadow Shaman might be the trap, Pet. I beyond infinity because Battlefly is hiding over his tree line with Blink forward to land the call down and the Chrono down onto mid one and they cleared up the Templar Assassin. Even with the Greaves from Ohio, it's not up to actually save him with a back back into the wall though. Look at the damage! The damage output from Fnatic. Zed is fucking dropping low with the Chrono back from DJ. Let's take him out. The Death Ward focuses Blizzard. Jarrah got his gun and Battlefly keeps like us into the Death Ward still with the projectiles flying. Fnatic. They know exactly what they're up to. They lose one, but they kill three or four every single time. DJ not even dying with a Buddha restoration and the Greaves heal through from a... Can he get, though? Can he get the Lena? Oh, he wants the Shadow Shaman, maybe. Mid one. And he's considering this. The Roshan dying. Maybe he'll find one of these guys on the... Where are they heading to? They can't find anyone, they can't actually jump onto any target, and now it's gonna be Fnatic with a big back wall, and he's making the photo catch, which is the net over, into the middle of the thing, the back, and then he can out one after the other. Oh, Fnatic, I think they've got this game in the bag, a triple kill out for mid one, and he just slams through with the side blades, and no chance, living up to his name, trying to face against the angry bear. But this tier 2 is forfeit, the gold from the Serpent Wars goes across to both Ursa and the Templar Assassin, and with no buybacks here from Beyond Infinity, Light would be sad. Yeah, we we talked about in the draft that uh, Radiance top it's impossible to fall beyond eternity to, to, to like approach fights in a way that they don't walk into the dark. At this point, it's not really that significant because they're that far behind anyway. But it just kind of adds to the sort of injury that they get caught in like a five man vacuum. Well, oh, game number one here in the best of three goes the way of Fnatic, and uh, no surprises, no upset. The great thing is, though, Beyond Infinity, they definitely showed that they can play. You know, early laning stage, the first 10 minutes was solid. It was good against Fnatic. 
Well, I think they just need to have something a little more spectacular in their drafting. Upset the Malaysian Kings. We'll be back.